Hey everybody, I'm Todd and this is Sweet Tea Guitars. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel and welcome to my life. Alright you guys, when we left off, this is where we were. I absolutely love this guitar, you guys. I don't even know what else to say about it. This thing has turned out even better than I had hoped. It's my first hollow body guitar. It's super lightweight. I love the walnut top on it. I have been telling you guys in the past few videos that I've released that I've come up with a new name for this guitar. And honestly, it was a suggestion made by a subscriber of mine, and I cannot remember his name, and I apologize for that. Whoever it was, drop me a comment in this video and let me know. I don't want to get it wrong, so I'm not going to even try and guess. The new name of this guitar is the Astrolabe 25. The reason I'm calling it the Astrolabe 25 is because I asked for something planetary or solar system related or whatever, for those of you guys who don't know what an astrolabe is, it is a navigational device that's ancient. It predates the sextant, which is a navigational tool used by sailors that you can use to navigate the ocean using the stars. So I thought that was the, just the perfect name for it. An astrolabe is the same thing. It just works a little bit differently than a sextant does. The 25 is because it's a 25-inch scale guitar. So... That's the new name. We're gonna jump right back into it, you guys. So what we're gonna get done in this video, I'm gonna get the finish applied to this thing. That's all I'm really shooting to get done because we've got some curing time that we're gonna to have to deal with. Unlike the Cloud 9 build, which is hanging right there, just got through wiping a coat of oil on it, I wanna sand this guitar up to 600 grit. All this guitar is getting is oil. It's not getting stained. So I don't have to worry about blotchiness um, from sanding at too high of a grit. What the 600 grit's gonna allow me to do is get a much finer, cleaner finish on this guitar for that oil. And I'm gonna use something new. So this is called the Mad Scientist Hard Oil and Wax Finishing System for Maximum Guitar Works right here. We're gonna try this out. And you can use either one of these products on its own. If you're just looking for a protective surface um, and you're not wanting to build a film finish on the guitar, you can use this penetration oil and let this be your finish. I just got it a couple of days ago. I have not even opened the bottles yet. We're going to crack it. I'm going to use it on this guitar. The 600 Super Asilix paper is called Sky. I'm going to grab one full sheet of this, which is actually two. It's perforated in the middle. I've been looking so far to getting back on this guitar because we are approaching the end of this thing. And I'm not happy to see it go or anything. I just want to play it and I want to deliver it to the dock, make sure he's happy with it, which I'm sure he will be. He, I think he's already watched the video. We're going to sand this thing up to 600. I was already at 360 when we started this. So the Super Asilix is so sharp and such high quality sanding film. You use it dry, no matter how high the grit goes. You do not use it wet. All right, here's where that little hand pad's gonna come in handy. I don't wanna sand around the neck long enough to get my finger profile in there. But I do wanna make sure I'm hitting it with this 600 or it's gonna look different. Let's hit our bevels. when you're using 600 grit, you're almost to that point that you're polishing, but there's still enough abrasive action going on that it will smooth everything out. Now I have spent an incredible amount of time already sanding on this guitar. I'm gonna hit this edge right up here at the fretboard. We'll roll that over just a little more. All right, Doc, if you're watching this, I'll never build another one like it, I promise you. 
I told you you were getting a custom one-off guitar. And you can see if you've got any major scratches left, um, the dust will collect in them. You got to be on the lookout for them. All right, you guys, are you ready for this? Let's vacuum this body. All right, let's see what Steve's oil is going to do for us. I'm going to use a piece of this t-shirt cloth for this. Mmm, that smells really good. <laughs> I'm not worried about it if I get some down inside the body. I'm gonna pour some down in there anyway when I get to a point that I'm ready to do that. All right, you guys, watch this walnut come to life. Look at that, how beautiful. All right, let's go one more coat of this and let this get nice and saturated. It's got that whole amber thing going on. I really love it. All right, you guys, I'm gonna let this sit here and penetrate for about 10 minutes or so. And when I feel it start tacking up, I'm gonna buff it back how much different is that and how killer is that so sweet this oil starting to go so i'm impressed with it i really am excellent job steve um it's starting to tack up already which is a good sign because it's not super hot in here now it's cooled way off now we're going to flip this thing over and oil the back let's get the back of this thing and then we'll re-wipe the front we'll get a good amount on here because i know that mahogany is going to drink it fresh cloth maple and myrtle in the neck that is rock maple rock maple's hard enough to where it wouldn't really require a finish if it was not so white but because it's white you know, you don't want it to get all black looking after a week of playing it with dirty hands. So it's important that it gets a hard finish on it. Look at the figure in that maple in the center strip. Awesome. Doc's going to love this thing, man. Hell, I love it. If he don't like it, I'll keep it. He's going to like it because he's going to like it. But I've, you know, my heart and soul's in this thing. I think this guitar turned out really unique. Or has so far, anyway. I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch. But as it stands right now, it's beautiful. All right, let's pour one more coat on here. That, that myrtle in the center strip of that thing is just freaking beautiful. It's got a glow like mahogany does, but it's all silvery. And the Murado even. It's got a really cool look. You guys know the deal. About 15 minutes, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, let's rub this thing back. All right, you guys, I am... I am so pleased right now, not only with what we've been able to get done this evening, but also with the results. I want to buff this back really good because this is just a sealer coat. It's all we're using this for. All right, you guys. The Astrolabe 25, I don't want to, I don't want to hold it with my fingers. how beautiful is that walnut when i get the hardware on this thing this is going to be something else i could not be happier right now when i come down here tomorrow afternoon i'm going to fix those spots i need to fix on the astrolabe and we'll put another coat of oil on it i'll do that a couple of more days 
we're going to crack on with it tomorrow evening, you guys. So hope everybody has a great night. I'll see you guys tomorrow evening. All right, you guys, we're back in the shop today. It is Sunday, September the 18th. I am going to wipe a couple more coats of oil on this guitar and we're going to finish up this video. One more video on this one and we'll be complete, you guys. I love this thing. Look at that mahogany, how beautiful that is. I started off on this build, uh, finish wise, using the Maxim Guitar Works number eight, a hard oil and wax finish system. This is the penetration and stabilization hard oil. So this stuff is new. It's available on MaximGuitarWorks.com. I love it. My only complaint is it takes it a really long time to dry six days since I wiped the first coat of this oil on and I did saturate this body. It's got a lovely sheen to it and it can be buffed. So I can't even imagine what kind of finish you could achieve if I use the number seven, which has got the wax in it. The number eight product, the penetration and stabilization oil has no wax. It's all oil. This is made for penetrating, stabilizing, just like it says on the label. I don't want this to take forever to dry, and I'm not familiar enough with this product to know how long it's going to take. So I'm not going to use this hard wax oil as a top coat on this guitar. I'm going to use Osmo because I know it dries quick. I want a satin finish on this guitar. We've already got a nice base flood coat of that number eight oil, the stabilization product from Steve at Maximum Guitar Works. I'm going to use the Osmo Satin Pollux Oil, product number 3054. I'm going to use this product on this guitar to complete the finish process. So once I get this coat of Osmo wiped on here, we're going to wrap this video up. I'm going to leave this guitar hanging for a few days while I finish up my great guitar build-off project. Hanging right there in the background. I am hoping to be done with this guitar within the next two weeks. I want to wipe this coat of oil down. I'm going to leave it hanging for three or four days. I'll wipe a couple more coats on it throughout that time. Um, the next video you see this guitar just like the Cloud9 build, we'll be putting the bridge in, soldering up the pickup, getting the jack installed, getting the tuners put in. I have to fret this guitar still, so we'll do some final touch-up work on the fretboard. I'll get the frets installed, we'll level and crown these frets, I'll install all the hardware, and we'll do a sound demo on this guitar at the end of the next video. So we're getting close on these things, you guys. Let's get this oil wiped on here and wrap this video up. And on this one, we're really going to work this Osmo into this surface. Let's get the sides. I did a little cleanup work around these sides. Now that I know I've got a nice coat rubbed into the surface on this thing, I'll go back and do my usual application method to it. I'll lay it on here pretty heavy once I get this first coat rubbed down into the surface. And then we'll come back, we'll let it dry for a few minutes, and we'll come back and buff this down. Now, let's wipe us a nice heavy coat on here. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave this sitting here for about 15 minutes. When we come back, we'll buff this down, we'll flip it over, I'll rub the back down the same way we just did the front. All right, you guys, we're back. Let's get this body buff down. And really all we wanna do is just rub this down, make sure we don't leave any streaks. Buff our sides down nice. All right, so while that oil on the front continues to penetrate, we're gonna flip this thing over and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing to the back. I'm going to rub this coat, this first coat, I'm going to rub it in, decent pressure, and get this work down into that grain. 
you know, even considering that I've got a coat of that stabilizer oil on here already, this mahogany is open grain and it's going to, it's going to want some finish. All right, let's get us a nice heavy coat wiped on there. We'll move up to the neck. And I'll let this sit for a while. This is a gorgeous guitar. I am so happy with how this thing turned out. Or how it's turned out so far, at least. All right, let's hit this neck. I want to give this neck a really good drink. I don't want to take a chance on that maple over time getting stained, so I will continue to wipe three or four more days worth of coats on this maple. I've got a couple of scratches up here on the headstock I'm going to have to deal with, so we'll stay off of our headstock. All right, you guys, I'll be back in a few minutes. We'll buff this down. We may wipe one more coat on the front, but other than that, we're good. I'll be right back. I went ahead and fixed those scratches on the back of the headstock. They kept staring at me, and you guys know how that is. I can't, I can't let that taunt me. I went ahead and fixed it. It was just a couple of minor scratches, but they were showing up, and once I saw them, I couldn't go back. Let's get this thing rubbed down. Make sure we get these sides really good. We'll rub the front down one more time where it's been laying on the cloth. Make sure I don't leave any little patterns in there or whatever. All right, you guys, the Astrolabe 25. That's what I'm calling this guitar. I think it's a fitting name. I love this guitar. It has turned out just great. I just love this thing. I really hope the doc's going to love it as much as I do. I hope you guys like it as well. Let's get it hung up here and we'll talk for just a minute. All right, you guys, we're gonna wrap this video up right here. Um, all I really wanted to do was get a couple more coats of oil put on that body, let you guys see what this guitar is turning out like. And I love this thing, you guys. I am so impressed with how this guitar has turned out so far. In the next video, we're gonna install the hardware we're going to put some strings on this thing. We'll get it set up. I'll show you guys the sound demo. It's not an acoustic guitar, but I'm hoping that I've got a little bit better volume than you'd get from a standard solid body. And I'm almost positive I will. I'm feeling pretty confident that it's going to be decently loud, um, unplugged. And that's what I wanted, just so the dock can practice without having to plug into an amp. All right, you guys, we got the finish put on the Astrolabe 25 build. I really love that name. I cannot remember who came up with that or whose suggestion it was. If whoever it was will drop me a comment down below, shoot me your email address to sweetteaguitars@outlook.com. I'm going to send you a Sweet Tea t-shirt for coming up with that name. I really love it, and I really appreciate your involvement in helping me decide what to name this guitar. I think that's the perfect name, and I'm really happy with it. I'm also truly happy with how this guitar's turned out so far. We are coming down to the final days on all three of the builds I got going on in the shop right now. The Cloud9 build, which is my entry into the great guitar build off. The Astrolabe 25, formerly known as the Figure 8 build. And the 7 of 9 build. I should be done with all these guitars by the end of September. And um, we're going to start some new things here in the shop. i got some really exciting news to share with you guys. Somewhere around the first week of October, you already know that I will be announcing my next guitar giveaway on October the 1st. So this is not that. I've got other news to share with you guys. So pay attention to the notifications. Make sure you've got that notification bell selected. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, you guys. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. I'm trying to grow my channel. And I want to continue to release relevant and informative videos as we move into the future here. My goal is to teach people how to build guitars as I learn how to build guitars myself. I want to give that information back to the world for what this community has done for me. I love this community. I love this craft. 
I am absolutely taken with guitar building at this point. It is my life, you guys. I love it so much. And I really appreciate you guys being a part of it. So, as always, until the next video, you guys, peace and love.